But we begin with the quakes that hit parts of eastern Lake and western Ashtabula counties over the past week. The biggest was around 1030 last night in Madison Township. News 5's Catherine Ross shows us the problems it caused and explains why it's not the first and likely won't be the last. The Grand River Valley with its sprawling vineyards and unique terroir is known to many as wine country. We could use a really hot uh, September to help ripen up the fruit. It's been pretty cold. A cool wet summer for wine producers like Tony Debevic is ending on a shaky note. It blew off our little uh, cups that we have at the end here and filled the tray full of beer and I could still feel it sticky as all get out. An earthquake shook the taps open at Debonay Vineyard Sunday night, spilling 30 gallons of beer onto the floor. It looks like it's not running real fast, so it probably ran the CO2 pretty low too. The 3.6 magnitude quake captured on ODOT cameras Sunday night could be felt as far away as eastern Cuyahoga County and parts of western Pennsylvania. It sounded rumbling and it literally sounded like something ran into our house. We felt a little vibration. I was sitting in my living room and then a sudden big boom. It shook decorations off some shelves and walls and left several small cracks on Debony's fireplace. It's not the first earthquake Debevic and others have experienced in the area. It's an old crack that we saw right away when we had that uh, when we had that earthquake in 85. The U.S. Geological Survey says it recorded two smaller foreshocks in the days leading up to the Sunday night quake and one small aftershock. Usually it's it's kind of in the distance. This time the house shook so you knew it was closer. People around here tell us they're no stranger to earthquakes. The USGS says that earthquakes are still relatively uncommon in Northeast Ohio, but this area is more susceptible because it sits on a fault line. It's really the geology that's at play that, that's causing these earthquakes to happen. Geophysicist yeah, William Yak tells us the earthquakes near Madison are typically mild, but he says they're difficult to predict. He recommends preparing with an emergency supply kit. Neighbors like Debevic says occasional earthquakes are part of living out here, but he's more focused on producing great wine. It's something that we'd have to look at if it starts happening more often, but right now I I got a lot more other things to worry about than that. In Madison, Catherine Ross, News 5. So we wanted to give you some more perspective on what a 3.6 magnitude earthquake means in terms of impact and damage. So here's a look at the current earthquake magnitude scale. You can see there are millions of quakes that register at 2.5 or below every year. That usually can't be felt. You can feel a quake up to 5.4, but it doesn't cause much damage. It's when we get above 5.5 that buildings or structures can see damage. Anything in a 6 can cause significant damage in populated areas. 7 is considered a major earthquake causing serious damage. And 8 and above can destroy communities.